Hey there, uh, it's me, and we are going to be doing our bee video again. There is a critical difference here today which you cannot see. The critical difference would be this. That's right. I'm going commando. Ginny, however, as you can see, is not because she is not stupid. But I'm like, well, hey, how difficult could this be? Um, and at this point, one of the other things we should have talked about is Ginny and I have discussed the videos, and she wants to go a little bit slower on these things, so we may cut off midway. The problem is that YouTube can only really accommodate... God, there's a lot of bees in there. Nothing there. YouTube can only really accommodate 10 minutes worth of videos before I have to start editing and chopping down, which I don't want to do, because after all, this is just a bee movie. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so essentially what we're going to do is take a little bit more time on each frame and go a little, um, be a little slower so Ginny can actually watch more stuff. Um, so it might be more boring, it might be more interesting, regardless. We are now going to the third frame, which really didn't have anything last time, and the third frame... Still pretty empty. Yep. There are more bees wandering around on the outer frames. Yeah. It, it seems it like... It doesn't like they're doing very much. Well, I mean, again, you have to remember that we are literally a week out from the last time. Uh, as beekeepers, we're only supposed to get in the hive every seven to ten days. I will fully admit that I'm the one who's really, you know, like, come on, let's get in the bees! And so, as a result, uh, we're going in probably, we're going in every seven days. Uh, this is bad. This what frame seems this? to be a lot more, a lot more, um, whoops, active than it was. Oh, yeah, and this looks like, yeah. this looks like um, honey production. Where do you see honey production? Oh, well, yes. capping here, but it's up the a top lot of, here, there's yeah. a lot of liquid nectar stuff going on inside of here. Yeah, definitely. You can see that. Um, I mean, it, it does look like we have an increased amount of bees. So clearly the queen is laying and the eggs are coming out. Um, though I'm not seeing any eggs laid here. No, I don't think we're quite to the brood nest yet. No. Oh, but this is interesting. We have what looks like um, the beginnings of a, of, a, of a queen cell. Where? Right here. Let's see. Hang on. We do have the beginnings of a queen cell. You can tell because underneath, um, and hang on, let me get a little further away so you can see it. Um, there's a cup on the end, but why is it that far up? Um, they said, I thought they said queen cells that were far up were okay. You didn't have to worry about those. Yeah, well, we're not going to worry about them, but yeah. I mean, clearly we have a bees in there and they're laying. What's the other side look like? We didn't actually. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. Alrighty. For the record, I will say that uh, going into the hive this often, uh, for me, being all up in your bees has become a very dirty thing, which I say to people on a regular basis. Like, I want to be all up in her bees. Oh, this one's heavier. Whoa, that is, and there's bees hanging off the end of it. Okay. Okay, you can see, I think those are just pollen right there. Uh, no, that's capped, well, is, there's cap brood, there's pollen around the cap brood. Yeah. Um, there's some, there's definitely some um, drone cells in there. What's that there? No, okay, I thought that was a queen. Yeah, I, I think, think that's a drone. I think that's a drone. But at least Extra we're trying... guys. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot more even than there was a week ago, so, you know. Yeah, we got... Yeah. Some po definitely some pollen storage. Oh, look, there's some a bee cleaning storage. out a cell right there, right yeah. there. You can see the, the head right in there. Yeah. That's kind uh, of neat. I don't know how Denzel held them so that he could, like, pop open those, uh, those, uh... Drone cells. He laid one on his he laid one on his his knee. Oh, but you can see pollen. You can see ho, um, honey in the upper corners, which Half seems to be where they're the doing. Upper corners. What about the other side? Anything there? Uh, wow, lots. Lots of lots and lots of wax building, and a few drone cells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking down at the so, hive. I'm trying to figure out. Um, all right. I would like to remind you. Oops. No, I'm doing this stupid. this way. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. That didn't work at all. But. Okay. Well, these are kind of the uninteresting ones, you know, this one, but they're definitely uh, building further out. What are you, what are you trying to do, sweetie? I'm down so I can attempt to do what Denzel did. Okay. Without killing any can, Okay, come on. And, uh, the problem is I can't, I can't balance it and get the, uh, Put it on, tool. put up one knee. Yeah. Press it on your knee. Yeah, except that there were bees on the bottom. That was why I wasn't doing it. Well, they were with Denzel, too, so... Right. No, no, rest one corner on your knee is what he was doing, but... Okay, rest one corner on my knee. Yeah, and then trying to pop open probably this one right here, I think, would be your best bet. Yeah, I know. I, here, can you pull the hive tool out of my hand? I, I just need oh, to get it I can my do that, hand. yes. Okay, that's fine. That's, that Let's transfer my, it. Okay. That's what, where my problem was. Whoop. Okay. Okay. And... I should add, this is where I should be starting to flip out. Okay, here we go. She's capping one. 
pulling one out. And there it is. You can see it. Um, Jenny, can you... Hey, I'm just trying to get it in the sunlight here. You can see the little... Oh, but hey, no, around it you can see larvae. Yeah, no, I mean, absolutely. That's... We can see all the larvae in there now. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Yeah, now I can see the larvae. Yeah. Just because I happened to pop, pop that one. Yeah, you now that you pop that one, you can see the larvae at the bottom of the cells. They're kind of white. There's like a bunch of larvae in the bottom of those cells. Yeah, no, she's definitely laying. Good. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's not still not a great brood nest pattern that I'm seeing. No, but, I mean, but, our, I think you know. we already have to agree that basically our queen is uh, not, queen. not the neatest of layers. Okay. Here we go. I can't believe how much easier this is right now. Hold on a second, I gotta pick this one up. It fell off. Yeah, it's on. No, the interesting thing is what I'm doing right now is you'd think they'd be all flying at me. They're actually not. I mean, this is kind of bizarre, but that looks a lot heavier. Yeah, it's got a lot of... Uh, okay, hold on, let me... There's a lot of cat brood down here. I can actually see a couple of eggs. I can see some larvae. You see a queen anywhere? No. No. <sighs> Not spotting a queen. No, she's hard to. Oh, but I'm wondering whether that's the... Oh, that's a little worrisome. What? Oh, well, basically I said when they're all lined up looking out, that's about when they're getting ready to sting the crap out of you. I'm wondering if that's the behavior. So if you see me stung the crap out of, you yeah. will know. You didn't, you didn't look at the other side. Yeah, I did. Oh, oh you did? No, I didn't. Uh... I mean, we have it on film, so we can go back and look at it later, but... Yeah. Definitely a lot of activity there. Yep. But I'm wondering whether all, you know, supposedly when yeah, they're poking they're their... Yeah, they're starting to, like, look up at me. Yeah. So... Okay, let's go... Whoop. Ah, sorry, that was a little bit more. Yeah, you kind of... Okay, let's get to the next one. Do you feel like we're taking the time you need to look at them, sweetie? Or... Yes. Okay. Because I'm starting to see the things I was looking for, so... Well, there we go. The interesting <laughs> thing is when... What? Yeah, they are definitely starting to line up and just look at us. So, I think... Well, why don't we get a puff of not... smoke down? Hang on. We can show you the smoker right here. It looks like a Dalek. Do we have any smoke coming out? Yes, we do. So yeah, let's lots of honey hang on. on this. Well, I don't want you hey, to smoke it while I, I'm holding. I, I don't want you to smoke it while I'm holding a frame. Okay, fair enough. Basically, just send them back diving for cover. They definitely. I'm probably using too much smoke, which is a common beekeeper mistake. But I'm just trying to be very cautious here because I'm live. But the interesting thing is, you can see a lot more when you are live like this. So yeah. I didn't spend much time on that frame, but I'm not spending much time because they are definitely... No, these guys are lining up to look at us. This is not a day that they are happy to be... Well, let's look at the last one. I mean, here. Uh, you know. I... Sure, that's fine. I'll do that. No, I mean, I'll, I'll take it out. You know, I mean... You don't have anything on. Okay, we've got brood. I can see some eggs. Yeah. Um, and there's some honey going in over here. Yeah. And are they building on the last one there? Let's take one look there. Yeah, they're building on the next one. It looks like they're building honey, honey frames. Which they happened for the last two. Anyway, as we we're starting to say, the interesting thing about being out here live and working without a net, as it were, haha, -ha, nothing there. <laughs> yeah, the but they are there's a lot of honey. A lot going of in honey. Here. God, look at that. Hang on, can we just get a better shot for the camera? You can see, like almost, wow, they're just putting a lot in there, and they're definitely storing away a lot. And the back side is empty, mm -hmm. and I'm going. I'm putting everybody back because. Okay. They're, they're paying more attention to me than, uh, okay. than I really want them to. Okay. Anyway, the interesting thing about working live, as I am right now, and without a net, is that you can't scratch yourself. Because when you have this many bees buzzing around you, you itch a lot. And you're convinced that every itch is, in fact, a bee, even if none of them have landed on me. Actually, not one single bee has landed on me, weirdly enough. So, I mean, maybe it's a question of comfort. Maybe it's a question of that I'm wearing this bright floral shirt. I have no idea. In any case, we're running about out of our time here, so I'm going to call it and say that it looks pretty productive, wouldn't you say, sweetie? I would say it looks very productive. I'm just pushing these close, carefully yeah. back together because we have more bees climbing in between, and I don't want to squish Yeah, them. and we definitely have uh, more bees than we did the last time, so that's good. It looks like the queen is laying, and they are, in fact, producing. So, anyway, up until next week when we'll go in prematurely again, uh, talk to you later. Thanks.